In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the goto statement in C. So the goto statement allows us to break the normal control flow of our program. We can have the control flow jump to a label that we've defined. So I'll show you what I mean here. If I say printf statement one, and then we do printf statement two, and then printf statement three, it's not going to be too surprising when we run this program that we get statement one, statement two, statement three as our output here. Because that's a normal control flow of a program, one statement executing after the other. A go to allows us to break this behavior. So here I'm going to define a label. I'll say end colon. And this is a label. And the word end here, that's an identifier. And we can jump to this label here with a go to statement. So here I'll say go to end. So what this is going to do is when this statement executes, this printf is going to be skipped over and execution control flow is going to jump here and we'll print out statement three. So we're going to skip over statement two entirely. So if I save this here and run it, we get statement one and statement three, but statement two is never printed. So this is what I mean when I say go to allows us to break or subvert the normal control flow of our program. Now, generally speaking, we never really want to use goto statements in our C programs. And that's because they break what's called structured programming. So when programming first came about, it was more common to see goto statements and things like it. But structured programming became popularized in the late 1960s onward. And it's about making programs made up of better control structures, things like if statements and loops. And it turns out when we write our programs with these control structures, they become much easier to understand. Goto statements can become very difficult to trace. So we don't generally speaking want to use goto statements in our code. Now, if you look online, there are going to be people that make arguments that in some rare cases, goto statements can actually be okay. So one area would be something called exception handling. Some languages like Java and Python have what's called exception handling, where if a function has an error, it can throw an exception and then control flow will suddenly jump to an area of the code where that exception is caught. And some people say that because C doesn't have this, it's okay in some instances to use go to statements to simulate it. Others claim that in some rare circumstances, go to statements can be used to optimize the execution of code. You'd have to be really careful with this because modern compilers do a lot of really smart things when they compile our code and they don't really deal with go to statements very well. So that might be true in some cases, but you'd have to be really careful with that. Another area where sometimes people say go to statements are okay is when you have many, many nested loops and it becomes impractical to use breaks or some other mechanism to break out of them. And a go to statement to just jump out of them is more pragmatic. So maybe we've got like three or four nested loops. We've got like four int i is equal to zero. I is less than five. I plus plus. And then another nested loop with four int j is equal to zero. J is less than five. J plus plus. And then another nested loop, k is equal to zero, k is less than five, and k plus plus. And maybe we've got a bunch of complex code in here with if statements and all kinds of things going on. Their claim is that you're kind of better off just using a go to at this point. Because if you said here, like, if k is equal to five break, this doesn't break out of all the loops. It just breaks out of this one loop here. And you still have two more levels of loops to break out of before you could really bring control flow back down here to the end. So what they say is in this circumstance, it's okay to just sort of jump to a label out here instead and say, if K is equal to five, go to end loop. So that's the claim. I think personally that if you ever have this sort of situation, there's a really good chance that your code could be written in a better way. I'm not saying it's not possible that a go-to statement is better in some circumstances, but I think generally speaking, if you encounter this situation, you should probably rethink the code you're writing to see if you can structure it differently entirely. Because generally speaking, I do advise following the rule of avoiding go-to statements in your code. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.